Okay guys, today we are going to be taking a look at why I think the hatchet is a righteous tool in any bushcrafter's arsenal. Now I'm not going to lie, it has been quite a while and quite a bit of debate with myself about really thinking about getting a hatchet. For the longest time, I just used, you know, a smaller sized uh, axe. However, the primary, but today we're going to be looking at the top three reasons of why I like using an axe or a hatchet and why I think these are still a very important and very valuable tool in the arsenal of a bushcrafter. And first off, the fact is hatchets are not a replacement for an axe. They never will be, but there are certain occasions where hatchets are a little bit more handy in particular outings and events. And so let's jump into those top three times where I'd rather have a hatchet. So the first off is the size and portability versus its effectiveness. Now, if you get a good hatchet, something like this Holtz Group All Mic, these things do a very good job at just going right through wood. And they can really outclass themselves because while it does seem very small, this thing can still take down, you know, four, you know, easily from a wrist in or wrist thick tree to around a four to five inch thick tree with, like I said, not too much issue or complaint from the tool or fatigue in the user. So this little guy, if you get a good hatchet, can really keep up with some smaller axes and having a compact tool like this was the driving force to why I got the hatchet because there's a lot of times when I'm going out for a day outing and I look at my axe and I would like to have the abilities that my axe give me but unfortunately what happens is that my axe is you know 26 inches a pound and a half head and it's just a little bit much it sits there it's teetering on that just a bit too much for my personal needs so I end up just not taking anything out at all, or sorry, taking a saw instead of an ax when I would rather have an ax. So having a good hatchet can be, not in every occasion, but in a few occasions, a okay substitute for, and like I said, substitute, not a replacement for an ax. So the next thing I like hatchets for is being a lightweight trailblazing tool. Now, axes are the ultimate trailblazer aside from chainsaws, and if you have thick pieces of wood, we're talking, you know, six to seven inch, you know, trees that have fallen in your path that you need to clear, you should consider either a chainsaw or an ax. But for a lot of the brush, like I was showing, that, you know, is, once again, wrist thick or less, a hatchet is a really venerable tool because, once again, if you're going along a trail, it's nice to have a lightweight tool that will swing fast and be portable. So I like them a little bit more when I can for a trailblazing tool. And lastly, the most important thing that I love hatchets for, and the purpose that I think they serve the best of all purposes for an axe or a hatchet, is material and natural resource gathering. And what I mean by this is just a good example for me personally, is I like to collect chaga, you know, true tinder fungus, for having it for teas, having it for uh, fire lighting, it's a good fungus to gather. But oftentimes you'll find that a lot of those chaga bits or those growths on trees are just outside of your reach. You know, they, you can't quite reach them with a knife. And the thing with chaga is chaga is a very hard fungus. So you have to be able to hit it pretty good. So you either have to baton it with a knife or you have to hit it with an ax or a hatchet. And like I said, what I like about hatchets is you know, the chaga may be, you know, right at my arm length. Usually it just so happens to be this way that, you know, they're right there. And so what happens is when you have a hatchet, hopefully this is in frame, when you have a hatchet, you know, that extends your reach. So now if the fungus is right about here, you know, I still have pretty good reach on that fungus or that natural material. And now I can just go up there, hit it, or, you know, hit it like that. And I can get the chaga or I can get the fungus that I'm trying to get or the natural resource that I'm trying to collect so that I can have that on store for myself in future usage. So that's the thing that I love the most about hatchets. And what I like a lot when it comes to having a, you know, 16 inch handled hatchet like this, you know, you can easily take it, throw it on something like a hammer loop like this, and you know, you can walk around with it. 
very portable and it's not going to weigh you down. It's not really going to cause any interference. I know when I'm walking through the woods myself, you know, this hatchet can easily sit here. I have my knife here, so if I need to grab my hatchet, you know, I can just grab it or I can grab it with this hand and, you know, just go to work with it. Or, you know, if I need to grab my knife, the knife's right here, I can just go to work with it. So having my tools in a very easy to grab place, you know, having them very accessible, but in the same way, not being in my way. In addition, something else you can do for those people that do like the Baldrick rig style of carry, if you decide not to carry something like a knife on a Baldrick rig, you can easily carry a small little hatchet. And you know, it takes up about the same amount of profile as this knife does. So with its dangler and its sheath, you know, it's still a, about an inch and a half, two inches more, but it's really not too bad, especially if you sling it around your back and kind of have it, you know, around your back, it's not too bad to carry. So there's a ton of options and we'll actually be getting into another video about how I like to carry my hatchets, but getting back to the moral of the story, they're very easy and portable to carry, especially if you get something like this one. Like I said, this has, I think, about a three quarter pound head, 16 inch handle, but it's very sharp. I mean, shaving sharp. And so when you do put it to task and you start, you know, doing stuff with it, it ends up being not only a really handy camp tool for around camp chores, but also ends up being one of the bushcrafters better friends because while it's not as sheerly capable as an act in splitting and in bucking trees, it's not too bad at bucking and it's very portable. So you can't split with it too well, but at the same time, you could always, if you are one of those people, just baton with your knife as well. So anyways, I think a really great kind of trio is a smaller saw, you know, a medium sized knife like this and a smaller you know, hatchet or medium sized hatchet, smaller axe makes up a really good lightweight tool system that still gives you plenty of capabilities when you're navigating and traversing out here in the woods. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and hopefully this kind of motivates you guys to take a better look at hatchets. So that is all for now. God bless and I'm out.